Hello and welcome to CAB. Today we will design FSM for the decimal number divisible by 3. So for that what we have done, we have divided all the numbers from 0 to 9 and checked the divisibility. And we found that, that 0, 3, 6, 9 are completely divisible by, zero, uh, by 3 with the remainder 0. 1, 4, 7 are having the remainder 1, 2, 5, 8 are having the remainder 2. So based on the remainder category, we have given the name as S0, S1 and S2. Now what I want to do, we are going to divide the inputs into two sets. So here we are having one set as 0, 3, 6, 9, second input as 1, 4, 7, and the third input as 3, 2, 5, and 8. Now the time to design the PCS method. So for that, we are going to write down this uh, two function for FSM, that is the input with the state, goes to the next state, and the machine function, that is the input with the uh, next state produces the output. So here what we are going to do, we are going to write the the inputs. The inputs are 0, 3, 6, 9. Then we are having 1, 4, 7, 2, 5, 8. So here also for the machine function, we are having 0, 3, 6, 9, 1, 4, 7, and 2, 5, 8. Okay, now we will take the S0 state as the initial state because it is producing the remainder 0 and we can consider that as a not having any kind of input. So we are consider S0 as the initial state. So S0 at the 10th place, S0 at the 10th place represents the remainder either 0 or 3 or 6 or 9 with the number at the unit bit as for example 0. So that is the next bit. So 0 with the number at the unit bit as 0 is making the number 0. Number 0 is having the remainder as uh, 0 and it is going to the S0 state. So S0 with the input goes to S0 state and produces the result as 0. Now S0 that is the number 0 for example at the 10th place with the number at the unit place as 1. So the number at the 10th place is 0 and the number at the unit place is 1 is making the number 1. Number 1 is not divisible by 3 and it is having remainder 1. Remainder 1 is indicated by the state 1. So here we are writing the state as 1 and we are writing the remainder as 1. Now at the unit place, at the 10th place we are having 0 and at the unit place I am taking number 2. So that is creating number 2. The number 2 is not divisible with the remainder 2. So I am giving the name as S2 and the remainder will be 2. Now, which state we are going to consider next? X0 we have already considered. Now, we will consider S1. So, we will consider S1 here. So, what is S1? S1 represents that at the 10th place, we are having the number either 1, 4 or 7. That is, I think we have previous remainder, 1, 4 or 7. So, at the 10th place, we are having 1. Now, we will consider 0 or 3 or 6 or 9. So, if you are considering number 0 at the unit place, that is going to create number 10. Number 10 is not divisible by 3 with the remainder 1. Remainder 1 is represented by the state S1 and it is generating the remainder 1. Now, S1 is previous remainder is 1 with the next remainder is 1. So, the previous remainder at the 10th place is 1 and at the unit place we are having 1 that is number 11. Number 11 is not be, uh, divisible by 3 with the remainder 2 which is indicated by the state S2 and having the remainder 2. Now, with the previous remainder S1 is either 1, 4, 7 with the number at the unit place is 2. Suppose the previous remainder at the 10th place is 1 and the next input that we are taking is 2. So that is going to create number 12. So number 12 is here divisible with the original state as S0 and the remainder as 0. Now we will consider after S1 we will consider S2. So what is S2 means previous remainder is either 2, 5 or 8. So suppose the previous remainder is at the 10th place is 2 and now we are going to consider any input from this from this set that is 0, 3, 6, 9. So at the unit place suppose I am taking 0. So that means the number 20, number 20 is now completely visible by 2 with the remainder 2 indicated by the S2. Okay, so this is S2 and again remainder is 2. Now previous remainder is 2 that is the number at this at the 10th place is either 2, 5 or 8. Suppose I am taking that at the 
10 plus 2 and at the uh, at the unit place i'm taking number as 1 so that is 21 so 21 is divisible by 2 we are divisible by 3 with the remainder 0 indicated by s0 and remainder 0 at the 10th place we are having either 2 5 or 8 and at the unit place we are having 2 for example so that is 22 22 is not divisible with the remainder 1 indicated by s1 and remainder s1 okay so now the time to now the final step so this is our final step so i'm marking with the Asterisk. Now we will draw the state transition diagram. S0 is the initial state, so I'm putting the arrow here. And this is the final state also, so I'm putting the double sulfur. S0 with the 0, 3, 6, 9, that is going, it is going to itself. So with the 0, 3, 6, 9, it is going to itself with the output 0. Okay, now S0 with the 1, 4, 7. S0 with 1, 4, 7. What is the uh, output represented, represented by S1 is 1. So, this is the output represented by S1. So, it is going to S1. Now, S0, where it is going? S0 on 2, 5, and 8. On 2, 5, and 8, it is going to uh, S2 with the remainder 2. So, it is going to S2 with the remainder 2. Now, S1. S1 on 0, 3, 6, 9. S1 on 0, 3, 6, 9 is going to itself and producing the output as 1. On 1, 4, 7, it is going to S2 with the output as 2. And on 2, 5, 8, it is going to S0 and producing the output as 0. Now S2. S2 on 0, on 0, on 0, 3, 6, 9, it is going to S2 with the output 2. On 1, 4, 7, it is going to S1. On 1, 4, 7, it is going to S0 with the remainder 0 because that is 21, 22 like that. And on the last bit, that is on 2, 5, 8, where it is going, it is going to S1 with the upward 1. So this is how we have designed the FSM for the decimal number divisible by 3. Hope you people have understood the concept. Do like the video, share the video, subscribe the channel.